I'm Ron Pren. I'm a professor of atmospheric sciences here at MIT. I've been on the faculty since 1971, in other words, for 43 years. Uh, it's been a great experience for me here, uh, and the great experience continues. I've had uh, tremendous uh, students over the years. I've graduated 29 PhD students during this time. My research focuses on measurements and interpretation of, of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and ozone depleting gases in the atmosphere. So as well as the measurements, um, I and my group do very high level modeling of the uh, atmosphere uh, to determine from the measurements what the sources and sinks of these greenhouse gases and ozone depleti depleting gases are. In 1978, I I uh, founded uh, with colleagues the what is now called the, the A-Gage Network, A-Gage standing for the Advanced Global Atmospheric Gases Experiment. This uh, network now has 11 stations around the world. The goal of this network from the beginning in 1978 was to do something that hadn't been done before and that is do measurements with instruments on site the instruments as automated as they can be and taking measurements at high frequency. Over the years we've built up the network to get larger and larger and more and more complex instrumentation. We now have 11 stations and the next step is to build a new station in Africa. The Rwanda Climate Observatory Project was instigated by conversations between President Kagame, his ministers, and the MIT administration in the 2008-2009 time frame. That project uh, was designed to have instruments uh, built here at MIT and uh, taken to Rwanda and with the overall goal being both to do great science in Rwanda and capacity building so that Rwandans would ultimately run all aspects of this observatory. The MIT contribution to the project uh, is being funded by private donations by individuals uh, associated with MIT either as alumni or as friends of MIT. The current observatory is an interim observatory and the ultimate uh, place for the observatory will be the top of Mount Karasimbi. There are two things that need to be done to move us to that uh, stage. Uh, the first task is to build the final instrument. And that final instrument will be connecting a gas chromatograph like this one here with a mass spectrometer like this one here and then another device that will sit above these that basically is removing the nitrogen and oxygen from the air samples and thereby, thereby increasing the concentration of all of the other gases which are the ones that we will measure. So this final instrument will be able to measure over 50 greenhouse gases and ozone depleting gases in real time. That process is uh, just beginning. The other big step to get to the top of Karasimbi, of course, is to get access. So coincidentally, there's been significant interest in Rwanda among the government uh, uh, ministers and so on in uh, thinking about an ecotourism facility that would consist of a cable car with two uh, stages to it that would go from a lower stage that would be at the level where one enters the Mountain Gorilla National Park and go up to the crater at 3.7 kilometers altitude uh, on Mount Karasimbi. That would be the main cable car and then there would be a cable car that would go, a short one that would go from 3.7 kilometers to 4.5 kilometers that's the summit of Mount Karasimbi and that's where the observatory would be built. The cable car will enable the, the materials necessary to build the observatory to be taken up there and it would also enable the various instruments that we have at the interim observatory to then be carried up to the top of Mount Karasimbi installed and also the cable car will enable easy access for the technicians. So 
at the, currently in Rwanda at the Mount Mugogo station. We have four technicians and we will have a similar number of technicians that will be involved in the final installation uh, on the top of Mount Karasimbi. So those are the two final stages, building of the final instrument, getting the cable car system um, uh, built and uh, the instruments moved and installed at their final resting place as it were in the observatory.